Okay, um, let's look at Designer Pro and see how we can turn the state diagram for week two into a program. So if you've got the state diagram drawn out, that's a big part of getting something that will work. Uh, without a diagram to go by, it's really hard to keep things straight. So if you have that in front of you, um, I've gone ahead and configured my my program. I'm going to call it new program. Actually, let me let me call it week two. Week two, 2319. That's that's much better. Now I'm going to configure the I/O. My on the controller that I have to work with, I don't have this. I don't have this setup. This is the setup for the ones in in class. So I'm going to take a chance and configure it this way and see if it will download without any kind of fault condition. So let's let's give that a try. Then I'll click to start designing. Okay, and just before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and try to download this to the controller 192.168.1.2 and see if it will go. Okay, it looks good. I suppose it worked. Let's check the hardware setup. It, it it does not see a card there. So I'm just, I don't really want a card right now. Um, I think I will just work without that. So let's just close that screen. So the first thing we had in our process was a first scan uh, contact that would force the system into state zero. So well, let's do that. In fact, I'm going to add a blank line. And the, the last line, I'll go ahead and put the first pass coil. Okay. Then up here, I'm going to put a closed contact called first pass. And that's going to go to a move instruction. I can find it here. move instruction. So I'll put that here. I'm going to move a constant zero into a destination known as um, state val. Okay. State val is going to be a number, so that's fine. Unsigned integer, so it's zero to 65,535, I believe. That's fine. Okay. So this should load a zero on when when it hasn't completed the first pass. So initially on startup, it will load a zero. Let's download this to the controller. I'd like to check it as we go so that we don't have a big surprise at the end. I'm going to right click and go to. Well, I have to go online first. Go online here. Then I'll right click and go to monitor mode. And what I see is that the first pass coil is on. It should be on. And I've got a zero in my state value. So that looks good. I'll right click, go back to edit mode, and keep working. Well, let's insert a couple of blank rungs here. Um, about five. Wow, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, what I did was put a bunch of blank rows inside that rung. I didn't mean to do that. Get rid of all those blank rows, and even this one up here. I'm going to put a uh, a new rung above. Pull that one down. Takes a little bit of getting used to. It's different from the other programs that I've used. So you know, like any program, it takes a little while. Um, insert new rung above. Looks like it puts it above the current selected rung. Let's try one more down here below. Yeah. So if you select one, it drops it above or below. So that's fine. 
Let's get rid of this one on the bottom because we don't want anything below first pass. So I think what we want to do next is say, you know, our standard uh, transition logic structure. So we'll do an equal to. We'll say if uh, state val if it equals to zero, and I have high level closed and low level closed, I want to go to 100. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the move instruction over there here. I'm going to move uh, 100 into the state value. And right in here, I have to put some contacts. So we said that the um, low level, high level, or normally closed float switches. So normally closed means that they're normally on. So um, in an empty condition, they would, in a drained condition, they'd both be closed, which means they'd both be on. So long story short, this one's going to be called low level, and this would be called high level. Okay. Normally they are both on when they're empty. So testing this will be a little bit of a challenge as we go through and toggle these things on and off to see if they're working correctly. Uh, let's, let's test what we have so far. Uh, we are already online. We're going to right click and go to monitor mode. Okay. All right, so first pass is on. We've got a zero in state val. Let's toggle low level and toggle high level. Notice we have 100. So when the system starts up, if these two switches here um, close, we need to go to state 100, which is the ready state. So let's say the tank is um, half full. On power up, we would like to stay in state zero until the system drains, in which case both floats close and I move to 100. 100. So it, it looks good so far. Let's turn these back off. Let me go back to edit mode. And we'll just keep, keep going here. Um, well, let's do another equals. Now if I'm in state 100, And the start push button is pressed. Okay, well, that's easy enough. We'll put an open contact and call it start push button. If, that's, if that happens, I go to 200. So let's do a move. I'm going to put 200 into the state value. Okay, that'll work. Um, now, if I'm in 200, which is fill, and I hit, and the high level opens, which means that it turns off, I go to 300. But I also go back to zero if I press stop. So the next one has two, two outcomes to it. So firstly, I'll put equals to 200, uh, state val. 200. So I've gone to 200, which is fill. Um, if the high level opens, which means it turns off, so I'm going to use a closed contact here called high level. Okay. So if that happens, I'm going to go to uh, 300. Okay, that's fine. I would really like to branch down here and just include the other exit option, which is stop. So let's let's try that. Let's put um, let's put a couple of blank rows in there for some space, and then let's see. In this program, you hit the it says shift 
L. Okay, let's try Shift L. Shift L. Oh, that's nice. We have a little drawing tool. Um, let me hit escape there. Not sure I like that. Let me delete that. Let me hold down Control. Yep, it's got to be Shift L. So let's um let's do the stop switch. Stop is normally closed, so that means if if stop opens, we're gonna put one here. We're gonna, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Um, if I can draw in some lines in here. It's going to be stop. Okay. That goes back to zero. So let's do a move. We'll put it right here. We'll put a zero into state now. Okay. So let, let's, let's try this. Let's see if it works at all. We're going to right click. Go to monitor mode. Looks good. Looks fine to me. So let's 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 give it a try here. What I will do is I think I can push a number. Uh, maybe not. I want to push a zero into state value. I can't do it from here. I'm going to go back to edit mode and. I can push a number into it. Uh, let's go to the tag database and go to state val. I'll do it from there. Let's go to monitor mode. I broke it. What happens? Uh, go offline. Let's see if we can download it. Let's go online. Go to monitor mode. I don't know what happened there. I think I I think I when I double clicked on the ladder logic, I started a change and didn't finish it. Something something like that. So I did a download again. I'm back at state zero. That's that's fine. That's what I wanted. So let's see how this works. Um, if they're both closed here, that means it's on and on. Okay, go to 100. Okay, so it, we'll just we'll just leave those um, like that. If I press start now. Hmm. If I press start. I go to 200, but in 200, since Stop push button is off. It went back to zero. So I need to toggle this to an, an on condition here. Okay, so let's, let's turn this off. So I'm back in 200 now. Start was pressed. If I press, if I activate the high level switch, go to state 300 which it should that's not i'm in the empty state now if i had turned off the stop push button i would have gone back to zero so it, it works it'll work a whole lot better when we hook up switches and lights to it i mean it's hard to follow the logic as you're toggling bits on and off and scrolling back and forth and the unexpected thing like leaving that stop switch and then off condition because it's normally closed so it's normally on so little things like that will go away as you mount the uh, as you put the switches onto the controller it's so much better when you when you can have physical io so let's try to finish the last little bit here we'll go back to edit mode let's put a rung above this one okay uh, now i'm in state 300. i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this rung and I'm going to insert it here. I don't like to type so much. So this is now 300. Okay. 
In 300, if level low level is closed and high level is closed, well, this goes away. And I'm going to copy, I think I'm going to copy these two. Maybe not. Let's copy one at a time. And we'll copy this one. Okay, high and low in 300, I go to 400. We can do a 400. But really all I'm doing is looking at my state diagram that I have off to the side here. And I'm just following the lines and uh, trying not to think too much. Uh, I should have done all my thinking and designing before I got to this point. I think where a lot of people go wrong is they try to just, you know, tr start doing something with the ladder logic. And, you know, generally you can make something work, but it's really better to have a something on paper. And when it doesn't work right, you will you can follow your state diagram and figure out what went wrong. Okay. So um, let's finish this off. So from 300, I go to 400, or I go back to power up. Now I've got state 400. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it here. So now I'm in I'm in 400. In 400, I delay five seconds and go back to 200. Okay, well that's different. I still have the stop, so I'm going to leave that alone. But I'm going to get rid of. Hmm. I'm not sure what I want to how I want to do this here. Um, I don't know how good this software is at uh, at adding and you know adding features in between features so let's let's just give it a try let's insert five rows here and let's see if i can fix this what i want to do is i want to get rid of this and this and this and this and i want to put a timer in there with a an on timer it's a we'll just call this thing reset Timer. Okay. I want a preset of 5,000 milliseconds. Okay. That's going to run as soon as I get into this state. It's going to start running. If that timer is done, I need to exit this state and go to state number 200. So let's let's see how good this one is. Uh, Okay, well, that's not bad. Let's pull this down. See if I can drag this over. No, not really. So it says control. Well, that. I hit escape. I'm going to pull this down to there. Pull this down. Hopefully, it all reconnects. Okay, I don't want to have to reconnect everything. So here's a an open contact called reset timer dot done so it sort of knows what I'm planning on doing I'm gonna do a move here put 200 into state value get rid of this blank wrong here I don't need it let's Give this a try. Let's uh, let's switch to monitor mode. And I'm not seeing any errors. I'm still in state 300 because that's kind of where I left it. Um, let's let, let's uh, let's trip this. Let's stop this thing here. Force it back to zero. Okay, and I'm going to. I'm going to leave that on because it's normally closed. Okay, so I'm in state zero now. I'm going to close the high and the low. If I go to 100, I'll, that means it's empty. I will toggle the start bit. And I'm just going to toggle it this time. Okay, so now the low level opens because it's not empty anymore. And pretty soon it gets up to this point. I toggle the high level because it's it's full now, and I go to 300. Okay, so in 300, 
Um, at some point, I'll drain down the tank and I'll get the high level float. Then I'll get the low level float at some point, and I go to 400. At 400, my timer's running, and I went back to 200, which is where I want to be. 200 is the fill state. So let me add a label here since I can. This is fill. That's the fill state. Uh, this is state. Um, State 300 here. 300 is the empty state. Okay. 400 is the delay state. So that leaves 100. 100 was the ready state. Okay. So it's nice. Add some labels to it. So now I'm back in 200. I'm back in fill. Um, I'm filling up the system at some point. Um, The low level opens, and of course, then the high level opens. Now I'm back in 300, so I'm back in empty. So this this works, okay? It, I mean, it's really hard to, to to visualize what's going on as we're scrolling and clicking and all that. Uh, but that's where the hardware comes in. We'll connect switches to it and uh, hopefully observe what it's doing. Um, so let's stop there. That's that's a good video. It it shows the process. It shows with the structure. Oh, the only thing that's left, I almost forgot. I need to put my outputs in here. So let's let's add a blank rung above this rung. And I've got two, well, I've got four outputs. Let's look at the drain and the pump. Okay, so let's do the let's do the drain first. I'll put an open coil here. It's going to be called drain. Okay. Drain is on in state zero, so equal to uh, state valve equal to zero. Okay, drain is on in state 300. So I need a branch here. So I need an extra couple of uh, rows, maybe maybe two rows. So I'm going to copy this. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we'll see in just a minute. Uh, I don't know how. I don't know if that's going to work. We'll just we'll try. So if state val is equal to three hundred, take a line tool here and just draw a branch up here. Okay, and let's switch back and see if it's okay with that. Looks good. Right now I'm in state three hundred, so the drain is on. Yeah, I think that'll work. It's, it's a little unusual. Nor normally, I like to see a branch come down here. It, it, it goes to the same place, so it's okay. Yeah, so there's the drain. Let's add another rung above. Let's put the, um, the pump. Oh, pump is on in state 200 only. So I'm going to copy this one. Paste it right here in state 200. And let's send that to the controller and it's good to me. So let's see if I can run it a little bit. I'd like to see the pump turn on. Let's trip one of the stop switches. Force it back to uh, zero. Okay. Then I want to do the 100. And I want to do the 200. Right now it is filling up. I'm going to turn these off. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Now I went it to 300. Uh, let's reset this. Force it off. Just go back a little, got a little ahead of myself there. Set that on, set that on, set that on, and I'll stop. I want to see the pump if it's on or not. It is. So the pump is on in state 200. Uh, everything else is going to work great. 
The only thing I don't have is the, uh, I know there's a green light that's pumping and there's something else like a red light. Um, but what I would do for that is I would, here's what I would do. I would just come down here and put an open contact called pump. I put a coil called green lamp and that's it. So when the pump is on, the green lamp is on. Let's go to monitor mode and see how that works. So um, I could put a branch right here and put, you know, put the green light in the pump rung, and that would that would work too. You know, that works fine. So there's week two. It's a lot of little steps, and um, it takes some getting used to, but it's, it's a good good program. It's uh, works great. Actually, I'm actually online with the controller right now. I think if I go offline, I go back to the. Let me let me take a chance here. I'm going to go back to the uh, simulator. I'm going to see if I can download to the simulator. Looks like it's working. I'm going to unplug my controller. I'll unplug the Ethernet just to be sure. I go there. I go online with the simulator. And um, let's try to run it in simulation mode now. So, I'm in state zero. I'm going to toggle it on. I'm in 100. I can turn these off again. Well, I shouldn't turn this one off. I'm going to press this button here. Yeah, I went back to zero. I guess because I turned these off. I'm not, not happy with that. Um, let's check that out here. I'm going to toggle this back to zero. Yeah, I want to make sure it works right. I'm always concerned. So now the tank is empty. I hit the start button. I go to 200. It's filling. And it is. Um, if I turn, I should be able to turn off the low sensor because it's uh, not empty anymore. When I, when I hit the high sensor, I should go to 300. And I do. Okay. So from 300, if low is closed and high is closed i should go to 400 which is my delay so let's let, let's uh let's toggle it and scroll down there very quickly to see if it there it is it's running in 400 delay is going to happen and go back to 200. so simulate works fine too uh, i've noticed on occasion there are some things that don't work exactly right in simulation mode but they're very unusual circumstances and normally it works just fine. But we're gonna have the physical hardware so we can actually test it on a real system. So that's where I'll stop this one and, um, and upload it.